The What's Next Awards is a competition held by Sebastian Professional as a platform for new talent and professional hairdressers to enter a competition and basically show the world what's next. I think that the opportunity to compete uh, in the What's Next Awards is challenging for the seasoned professional to step out from behind the chair and do more editorial work. Whereas for a student, it is literally the beginning, and if they can start off running, it's pretty amazing. I think it's a, an amazing opportunity for any artist to, to uh, compete. The What's Next Awards competition is super important to the Sebastian brand and to the Wella Company because it's a supporting aspect in the new talent pillar of the Hairdressers at Heart program. And so what that means is we're able to provide a platform for new and up-and-coming hairdressers and really give them a platform to showcase their work. There's a bunch of different competitions out there, but this one focuses on styling and allows you to really showcase your session styling capabilities. It makes you step out of your natural element of working in the salon full time to go into full creativity mode. It also inspired me to get a tattoo that says inspire me. This year to enter the What's Next Awards competition, all you have to do is go onto the What's Next Awards tab on the Sebastian Professional Facebook page and download the creative brief. Take the creative brief as inspiration and then just go from there, but never carbon copy anything. Just really take that and use your imagination and build it from there. So some tips on entering the What's Next Awards is really creating a story in your picture. Uh, that goes back to mood boarding and feeling what emotion do you want to feel in that picture? What kind of story do you want to tell? From there you go in and you find your model. Take a lot of time to find a great model and do not settle. Maybe she doesn't model professionally, but she needs to be photogenic. Also, you need someone with really, really good hair because day of, that's what's going to really help you have a standout picture. You want that model to be able to pose in front of the camera and tell your story. There's no words on these pictures. It has to be that emotion that they carry. Some very helpful tips are going to be with makeup, wardrobe, not a lot of accessories, not an overabundance of, of crazy textures. You don't want uh, massive makeup. Keep it more soft and simple. As far as choosing a photographer for the What's Next Awards, I really suggest somebody that is familiar with shooting hair-focused pictures. It really is all about the hair, so you want to make sure that that's the focus. I think when you go in with that much preparation, it's a no-fail. You're going to get an amazing picture at the end of the day. And from there, you upload your work onto Facebook, and that's really where it all starts. We have some exciting judges for the What's Next Awards this year. We're going to have Shay Dempsey, who is one of our global artistic directors for the brand. We're also going to have Danny Losada, who was our professional winner from last year. We will have Christian Siriano, amazing fashion designer. He was a winner from Project Runway. And lastly, we have the editor of Modern Salon, Anne Murado. Winning the What's Next Awards was such a surprise for me in the amount of press that I got. It's just great because it's just excellent exposure outside of your everyday network. And then also the prizes are really cool. For the professional stylist winner, they get to attend New York Fashion Week and style with the amazing Sebastian Pro team backstage at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in New York. The winning professional stylist also gets a, a photo shoot with a top trade magazine, which is such a great opportunity. For the new talent, you get to also do a trade magazine editorial, and we're also going to be supporting you with $2,000 worth of prizes. So the key dates for the competition are September 1st, or when the entries open, February 1st, or when the entries close, and April April 27th is a live finale competition here in LA. You never know who's going to see your entry. You never really know what's going to come out of it. And that's kind of the beauty of it all. Don't let the word competition affect the way you go into it. Like, just give it your all. It's so important in our industry to stay inspired, stay motivated, and to challenge yourself over and over again.